Okay, in this video we're going to walk through setting up DSD Plus for Simplex P25 receiving using nothing but uh, FMP and uh, DSD Plus. So first things first, I'm going to pull over uh, my command prompt here. And I've already got it open to the DSD Plus directory. And what I'm going to do now is uh, open up Radio Reference. And I already have it opened up to a local P25 uh, trunking system, but uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to pluck out one of these other uh, frequencies that is a voice channel. And so the one that uh, I've chosen just out of ease is a uh, 853.1. And so I'll leave that down here just for reference. And so I've already tested this before, so I already have it uh, typed in, but uh, let's go over the Syntax again real quick, uh, FMP to call the FMP program, 20001 for the port number. Uh, use my first RTL SDR dongle, uh, my parts per million offset correction of a 68, and then the frequency that I want to tune into, uh, 853.1. So I'll go ahead and hit enter on that. And immediately this popped up over here. And I can see that uh, the chip has cooled down a little bit. So the uh, peak is not quite uh, within the bandwidth parameters, but uh, we'll leave that where it is because it will heat up and it will move back there in just a second while it's on. So while that's running, I'm going to go ahead and pull over another command prompt window that's open up to the same spot and what I'll do is I'll put these next to each other so that we can uh, watch one and the other and also keep that on top as well so we can keep an eye on that peak and watch the uh, temperature drift there. So I have the FMP running tuned to the channel it's outputting on port 20001 and so all I really need to do over here is called DSD plus again and give it the input and instead of uh, 1234 virtual audio cable or anything else I'll just give it this port number that I use so 20,001 and hit enter and I can already see I'm getting decodes and I'll move these windows over here so that you can watch them And that's all I had to do to get it up and running with uh, running no other tools other than uh, the FMP and DSD Plus. And uh, you can't really hear it at the moment, but I'll see if I can turn the volume up here just a second so you can hear the real live audio coming through. That's clear, 1919. As you can hear, we've got the uh, flawless audio decoding going yes, on, like unlike uh, what I experienced in my other video with Unitrunker. I'm not really seeing any errors pop up on the side here. When I do, it's only a couple, but uh, all the audio is uh, intelligible and everything's working just fine. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.